Hi Scorpio, welcome to your spirit guide messages for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, uh, social media, tons of stuff down there. Please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you to everybody for your support, whether you're a new subscriber, if you've reached out for a personal reading, or if you bless me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you for all the support. Um, I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for helping me to get the messages out to the people that need to hear them, and being a part of the channel's growth and a part of the community. So I just want to say thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what Spirit wants you to know at this time. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy uh, November. November already, can you believe that? This is my last series for November. And then I'll be starting December readings already, which I'll be decorated for Christmas. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. All right, Scorpio. So take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. Um... Okay, so this can be not only for the month of November, it can be for whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless. I just date them so that people know in which order they were released. All right, so Scorpio, let's see what your spirit messages are for Scorpio. I'll be pulling three oracles from each deck. So if you want to skip ahead, please feel free if you don't want to watch the shuffling. So spirit, what do we have for Scorpio at this time? We have three messages for Scorpio. What do you need to tell Scorpio at this time, please, Spirit? There's one. That one wanted to stick out. That's too many. One more for Scorpio. One more for Scorpio. Take that one. Okay, we have three. It's the Butterfly Oracle. This is the Goddess Guidance. Wisdom of the Oracle, and then we have the Celtic Tarot. One more shuffle. What do we have for Scorpio Spirit, please? What are the messages for Scorpio at this time? One more for Scorpio. Okay. That one flew practically in my lap, so... <laughs> Probably important message there. Okay, three from this deck. Three from this deck. What are the messages for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know at this time from Spirit, please? Yeah, one. One more. Oh, two more. Sorry, two more for Scorpio. One more. One more for Scorpio. Okay, let's see what we have. We have retirement. Oh, so if some of you have been thinking about retiring a job or just retiring something no longer serving you, this is telling you it's time to do that. And then we have healing from the past. So, yeah, so some of you may need to still heal from some things of, from your past here. So it could be anything. It could be a love relationship. It could be something from your parents, uh, grandparents, something in your lineage, uh, something here you may not have fully healed from from your past, saying here that you need to heal that or finish healing that so that you can retire that issue. Just retire, heal it and retire it. <laughs> we got finances. So something surrounding finances here some of you could have an increase in finances. Some of you may need just to watch your finances carefully coming up here in the month of November to keep um, good record keeping, your bank accounts, your spending habits. You may, may need to um, control your spending habits a little bit here. So something with your finances. Well, Kat will uh, clarify all these with the tarot. Let me put these over here. see now we have Mave cycles and rhythms honor the cycles of your body energy levels and emotions so yeah so some of you may be feeling um, over emotional or maybe your energy has been going high and low high and low maybe even your emotions high and low for some reason 
could be just the cycle cycles that your body's going through. Really pay attention to things that you're going through, people around you. See if you can try to control the way you react, how you react physically, emotionally, and that kind of energy also. And then we have Senna, infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So this is divine energy letting you know that uh, you have infinite supply around you of love, family, friends, abundance, support, um, maybe even finances. That could be the finances over here. And then this could be just a cycle from your past that you haven't fully completely healed from. But once you release it and heal it and deal with it, maybe even counseling or something like that, you can just retire that energy, close out that cycle and just move on in your life. All right. So what do we have here? White Tara sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So, wow. So that could be going here with the cycles and rhythms also. You know, maybe at this time you're very, uh, you're extra sensitive for some reason. And you need to watch that. Watch um, relationship situations around you. Pay attention to your body, what you're eating. Try to eat more of a clean uh, diet. I'm getting tea for some reason. Maybe some of you need to, need to drink more tea, like if you're drinking a lot of soda and things like that. Maybe you need to drink more water, tea, juices, and things like that. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have to be fair, 38, which is 11, which is 2. And 2 is about, you know, partnerships, people coming together. So this is like the justice card. This is about equality, you know, being fair, making sure things in your life are fair, circumstances are fair, you know, and trying to be fair with others and others being fair with you. Persons, you know, person, places, things, situations. And then we have blessed 22. Wow, that's a nice number, 22. Four, which is about stability. So, um, yeah, I think if you heal from the past, you'll be blessed moving forward in life. And I think to be fair is like justice. It'll bring justice back into your life. It'll bring balance back into your life. You probably have many blessings around you, so be aware of all those blessings in your life right now. Treasure Island. So this is, uh, this is a good card. This is having infinite abundance and growth and getting treasures, wishes and dreams coming true. Nine here. It's like hitting the jackpot, hitting tre And that's funny because it's right under finances. Wow. Some of you could win something in the lottery or at the casino or just get, I don't know, a raise or promotion or something like that. Something about like hitting the jackpot with finances there or getting a new job that pays a lot more. You could be retiring from one job, going into a new job. And you'd be making a lot more money and it's like, wow, it's a dream come true. I've like hit the jackpot here and you're going to feel blessed and it'll be fair and balanced. To be fair is all about fairness, equality. But there's still something from the past there that you need to heal from, like close out that cycle so you can just move on. Maybe emotional, maybe something very, very sensitive and emotional. Maybe you haven't been wanting to deal with it, but spirits like, you know, you need to deal with it, heal it, put it to rest, retire it so that you can just move on, move on from it. Because you do have infinite supply here. So I feel like this goes along with Treasure Island finances here. Like you'll have infinite supply moving forward and you're not going to have to worry about anything. Wow. Wow. Okay, so let so if you've been thinking about changing careers or if you've been thinking about getting a new job, like maybe you've had an offer come in and you're like, oh, I don't know, it seems too good to be true. And you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think <laughs> Spirit wants you to know here that's sort of like a blessing in disguise. And it's a very fair, balanced offer. And it's Treasure Island. It's like hitting the jackpot with the finances there that you can retire from retire as in letting go, leaving that other situation. So I kind of feel like all these go together here. And like all this goes together here. I feel like. 
<sighs> okay. So I feel like um, like the sensitivity goes with healing from the past and the cycles and rhythms here. And this infinite supply goes along with the um, finances and to be fair, treasure island and all that kind of energy. All right, so let's clarify with some tarot. So what is retirement here? What does Scorpio need to retire from? What do they need to retire? What is retirement here for spirit? Thank you so much. The shadow. Wow. Okay. So this is uh, the devil kind of energy. So this is negative, toxic energy, codependent energy, uh, obsessive. I mean, anything that's not in a good vibration or a good energy. So if you're in a place now where you're working or your career and it's not in a good place, it's kind of like dark, it's it's negative, it's it's like maybe you're overworked, maybe, you know, it's just you feel like you're not in a good place. Um, I think it's time to retire that. Let it go. Yeah, I'm not getting a good energy with that for some of you. It's time to retire that negative energy. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's see what our finance is about for Scorpio. What are these finances about? The Six of Pentacles. Wow, so, and that is monetary finances, career. So yeah, something's, and you have to be fear here, which is sort of like uh, Libra energy, which is um, justice. And then you have the Six of Pentacles, which is like the minor of justice. So yeah, I feel like finances here, something is going to bring balance here in your finances. Your finances are either going to ba finally balance out and you won't be in debt or you won't be um, struggling anymore. Something's coming in with your finances that's going to bring you a lot of balance. So that's good. So Spare wants you to know that. So what is this healing from the past for Scorpio? What is this healing from the past for Scorpio? But I just had a card for that. Okay. What is this healing from the past? What do they need to heal from the past? The Queen of Wands. So it could be... Um, so the Queen of Wands is a fiery energy. It's a go-getter kind of energy. They go after what they want with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. So I feel like once you heal this from the past, whatever it is for you, only you know what it is. You know whatever issue you still have that's lurking lurking around you or from within you or whatever it is from the past. That Once you heal that and move on, that you can move on. You can close that cycle and move on with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion here and be this like fiery go-getter type of person. I feel like whatever is holding you, still holding on, like latching onto you from the past that you haven't fully healed from, is holding you back from moving forward in your life and being like very driven, ambitious, and fiery go-getter kind of energy. I feel like something's holding you back that you need to heal from. And once you heal that, move on from that. Even if you need counseling, therapy, whatever, to heal it and get over it, you'll be moving on in a much better place full of that drive ambition and go get her for life again. Having that zest and appreciation for life again. All right, so, and it could have to do with a fire sign or um, a sibling, a friend, a mother figure, male or female, doesn't matter. All right, so what is the sensitivity about? So we got the seven of shields here, which is the seven of pentacles. Um, so it says you are becoming increasingly sensitive, avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So the seven of pentacles energy is just kind of an energy of kind of taking things slow, like there's not really any movement. It's almost like a stagnant energy. It's like you're waiting. It's like you've planted seeds and you're patiently waiting for the prosperity. So this is an energy of um, taking things very slow. You know, if you're feeling very sensitive, if it's dealing with healing this from the past, it may take a while here to get over this, to completely heal from it. But you, you know, this is investing wisely. So this may be something you want to invest wisely in. 
um, and take your time so you can completely heal from that. And also with that energy of being kind of like still and patient of avoiding all these uh, harsh and relationships of iron chemicals like it says there. So, all right. So, because you may, if you find yourself in situations that are not in your best interest, they may trigger you and, you know, you don't really want that. All right, so what is this Cycles and Rhythms about for Scorpio? What is this Cycles and Rhythm about for Scorpio? Let's take that one. Honor cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. And we have the lovers here. <laughs> so uh, you could be coming to a very passionate relationship with the lover here. And I just got that message uh, with with the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So I just got a very like sexual encounter or whatever relationship here. So maybe becoming um, into a new cycle here with a very passionate lover here. Um, yeah, well, it says to honor that. So if you're comfortable with that and you're ready for a passionate, exciting time, with a lover, then well, go for it, I guess. <laughs> Spirit's saying go for it. It says to honor it. All right. Okay, so it could be, you know, lovers is about a soulmate, so it could be a possible soulmate coming into you. It may start off very passionate, but um, that is soulmate energy. All right, so we have infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. What is that about? Page of Shields. So this is communication. This is an offer. It could be a new job. It could be um, anything here where it can lead to growth, abundance, prosperity, wealth, uh, stable, something very, very stable for the long term that will give you this infinite supply. So it could be a new job proposal. It could be a raise. It could be a promotion or anything like that. Money coming in of some kind that will give you this infinite supply. Hmm. Okay. So let's see, oops, to be fair, what is to be fair about for Scorpio? What is this to be fair about for Scorpio? The King of Swords. So this is a very logical energy. This could even be a judge, a lawyer, something in the court system. So you could be waiting on something in the court system or something like that or hearing back from a lawyer or somebody in the law field or something like that. And I feel like you're going to be getting very fair news here. Something will be very fair news coming into you. You know, swords is all about clear clarity, truth and clarity and that energy. And the king of swords energy can be anybody in the legal field, um, uh, or anything like that. So it could be hearing back from a lawyer or something or a court system. All right, so let's see, let's see. So I think it'll be whatever you're waiting on here, if it is something from the courts or lawyers or something, be very fair and balanced if you're worried about that. All right, so what is this blessed about? What is this blessing? What is this blessed? Oh, the sun. Wow. Happiness, joy. Um, happiest, happiest card in the deck, the tarot. So blessings. You're going to be getting many blessings, many blessings coming here. Happiness, joy, success, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing energy. And right here, healing from the past. Healing in the past is going to bring in you many blessings moving forward. You'll be able to move forward in life and have all this happiness, success, and joy, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing, healing and enlightenment, growth and abundance. Wow, that's nice. Many, many blessings. All right, so what else? What else? And it may not feel that way. It's like, oh, I don't want to deal with that. It's too hurtful, painful. 
but with dealing with it, healing it, and moving on from it. Look at all the blessings and happiness you have coming. Wow. Okay, so what is this treasure island about? So you have temperance here, which is about balance again. Treasure island. So this is about patience, balance, healing energy. Um, you know, being, you know, optimistic. So, you know, you will get, this is wishes and dreams coming true, treasure, tre many blessings of, treasured blessings coming upon you. As long as you have patience and you do that balancing and that healing work that you need to do. You have all these wishes and dreams and blessings coming into you, happiness and joy. Also some waiting on news in court or judge, something lawyer. It'd be fair and balanced here. Somebody going to have a new job opportunity coming in or money or advancement in your career, promotion, something like that. Some may have a new lover coming in. Could be a soulmate. Some need to you know, spend more quiet time alone and not be so involved with activities that are no longer serving them so that they can be more in tune and touch um, with their body. They may be very sensitive at this time. It could have to do with this healing from the past. And some of you, finances will be balancing out. Some of you need to release some sort of toxic energy around you that's no longer serving you, whether it's a person, place, thing, career. Releasing that toxic energy. Okay, let's do the bottom of the deck, get some extra messages. But Scorpio, if you do like the way I read, like my energy, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell if you subscribe. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a spirit messages what you need to know at this time from spirit i do a singles reading who's coming towards you i do a love connection reading if you're uh, in a connection with somebody and i do a general tarot forecast reading also for the month which is more of a general reading if you're interested in all that please do subscribe hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the king of cups here king or queen doesn't matter so this is being in peace harmony you know being in that high vibration, uh, listening to your intuition, being, um, you know, loving, caring, nurturing, and giving, compassionate kind of energy. So I feel like you'll be in a much more positive energy once some of you release and heal these things no longer serving you. And you get news that you're waiting for also. And here's the Empress. So there's, you know, being in your power, being a boss. You could be a boss. You could be... Um, that kind of energy, but this is being in your power, being caring, nurturing, giving, uh, knowing your value, your worth kind of energy, giving birth to new things. The hangman. So things may seem in limbo right now, but also gaining new perspective on things, even though things, you know, waiting things out or being in limbo, but all the while gaining a whole new perspective. Three of wands, patiently waiting to go in this new direction. Four wands to your stability, your home, stable home life here, ceremony, celebrations, happy home and family, happy home and stable family life. And, oh my God, and the Ten of Pentacles, total abundance, wealth, prosperity, happy home and family, happy home and family and abundance, love, fulfillment in every way, and wealth and abundance here and sharing everything with your significant other, legacy. Stability in the home life, celebrating, ceremonies, but now it's a period of waiting, two cards of waiting to come into your empress power and to come into this loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. Once all these things that some of you need to work on and release, or once you get this news that comes in that gives you this wish fulfillment, um, then much better things to come. Okay, Scorpio, wow. So uh, good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.